jump. What is up, guys? My name is Ripley Gamer. Welcome back to Spyro Gear the Dragon Reignited in all the HD glory. And we love HD glory around here. And I've got like a really weird, like, floofy bit of hair. I'm actually just gonna sort that out quickly because that is not what you want. There we go. That's much better. We're going off into Icy Peak because today we've got to meet Doug to go ice fishing. See, that was the, act, the voice. It was such a weird, like, accent. It was, like, in one of the other episodes I said, it was like a mixture of Wisconsin, Minnesotan, and Canadian. Which was a weird one. Speaking of Wisconsin, I should probably watch that 70s show again at some point. I liked that show. I always want there to be, like, one for the 90s called that 90s show. I'd write it myself, but I'm not very good at comedy. But I'm pretty sure I could hire people to. I could pitch the idea to a network and be like, that 90s show. Hey. Hey. Look at what is he doing? Dude, get off the. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. Well, I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing all morning. My name is Cave Johnson. <laughs> uh, JK Simmons. Such, like, a legend. Cave Johnson here. That's not, if, if you are not feeling type of breath, that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Oh yeah, I gotta get these birds, that's gonna be fun. But, this place is looking super pretty. One, there were two birds. Was that two? Or was it always? Was that? There's the other one. Come here, you bastard! Oh man, I always did like this level. It was a fun level because it's. Because it's like an icy world and it's like super cute. Ah. He was like <clears throat> so close then. I know he comes around over here so we can get him. That would probably be the correct one. Well, the birds are the things that take a while because you've got to get them. There we go! What's up, Cave Johnson? That's your new name now. Your name's not Bob. Your name is not Bob anymore. It's Cave Johnson. Cave Johnson here. See, I've never played um. See, I've got one of the Portal games, but I just never played them, which to a lot of you watching is blasphemy. Just like, she's never played Portal! What kind of gamer is she? She's never played Portal. It's like, it's like part of it is a co-op game, and I've just never really thought with portals. I guess you could say I've always been more interested in RPG elements rather than things like the portal. I've also never played Halo. I haven't played Team Fortress. I mean, I play Overwatch, but that's basically just like reskin Team Fortress. But. There's just like, like, there's games I've played which I quite enjoy and I'll play them all the time, like Bloodborne and the Dark Souls games. They frustrate me to hell, but good lord do I love the story in them. And then there's games like, that's on like every game is like a list of games to play before you, before you die kind of thing. I just never had Paul thought of it. Do you know why? It's because I grew up playing the PlayStation. I didn't get a PC to game until I was... 
I didn't get my Steam account until 2014, so that kind of explains a lot of things. Oh god, oh god, get up, get up. I think they actually look like uh, rats and not weasels. Music's great though, oh god. The music's gonna be really loud and everything's gonna be echoey. Can't have that. I keep forgetting. It's just because it sounds so good, you know? Uh, where's the tunnel? There's the tunnel. And then you come in under here and it's like... Because <gasps> then you see all the things down here and you're like, how do I get to it? And it's like, there's a crack in the ice. I used to be confused by this and then I found the crack in the ice. And I was like, so that's how you get in there. Pretty awesome. Still a nice looking game after so long. Like, such a good looking level. Yeah, they're literally rats now. Although I like the look of the ice now, it's all proper. Like it looks like it'd be real. <coughs> Cause before it was just ah. God sakes. Spyro. Love of God. Shoot straight. It was one of those like ones where it was just like glass polygons. But now it actually looks like proper ice cubes. They should remake every game from the 90s. Every PlayStation 1 game should be remade. They should- like, because there's a lot of good ones. I feel like there'd be some great ones they could redo. Like... Well, the Metal Gear Solid games, obviously. Like, Metal Gear Solid 5, everyone praises that and I've heard like a lot of good things on that particular perspective. Never played them but I've heard they're great. There's... I wouldn't mind seeing... because I know they're remaking all the Resident Evil game. If Konami hadn't completely decided to just throw Baby Silent Hill out with its bathwater, I would love to have seen remakes of Silent Hill because I've never played those games. And I never got to play the demo, the PT demo, which I'm super glad about because that looked like it was going to be such a cool, like, like, game to play. And that frustrates me a little bit. I would have loved to have played the PT demo. Still sick, by the way. Hey, buddy. Alright, these guys have just lost their ticket to Flavor Town. Maynard! <gasps> He's bleeding, stretching! Oh! What a little baby! So cute. So fucking cute. There is a way to get that, but I forget about which way. I like what I gotta do for that one. I see a little birdie. Blue butterfly, that's what I like to see, people. Blue butterflies. Now I gotta be very careful. Oh god, oh god, help. 
Careful, Sparrow. There we go. See, these guys shouldn't leave, like, crates of dynamite on the ice. It's just not viable. Look at this guy. They look like weasels before. Now they're actually rats. That's pretty cool. Oh no, the ice fishing show. Not the ice fishing show, that hockey, ice dancing, goddamn ballet, Canadians. Well, they're not Canadians anymore, are they? They all sound like cave dogs and cannon fodder! Enchanted towers to destroy the balloons, that should be quite easy. That's pretty cool though, it's not showing up, which is a bit. You know. Scary. Then we got all these birds. All the birds. Get all the birds. I hate the birds. They 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 end up making the level take like a long time. Not to mention the thieves and the two thieves I've gotta go for, and also the ice dancing show. Come on. Gotcha. Up we go. And across for this fun little do that. And then we can just glide along back over here. Speaking of Frozen, because this is a very cold level, I saw the teaser trailer for Frozen 2. What the hell is the plot of that movie going to be about? Like the first movie, it was very obvious. It was going to originally be like a Snow Queen kind of thing with uh, Elsa being like having an army of like frozen soldiers kind of thing. And she's going to be a villain. But now it's like... <sighs> but the movie ended up being about... More about the bond between the sisters, which I liked. How much is this going to cost me, money bags? Step right up, Spyro. Behind this door is the single greatest show on earth. That's right, ice dancing. Season tickets are available, but you'll have to act fast. Okay, five hundred gems, pretty good. I always knew you were a cultured sort of dragon. That's a takeoff well, hoser. Right oh, this has to be to Canadian. Start. This has to be Canadian. But also, goddamn, it's. I hate this one. Oh, it looks better. Are there actually any judges? No. There's literally no judges in here, so I don't know where all the roses come from. Tonight is my big ice dance performance, and these hockey players are ruining it! Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish I had a partner. Someone courageous, strong, handsome, and purple, who breathes fire. Will you please help me perform my ice dance? These mean Rhinoc hockey players keep hogging the ice and all I want to do is dance. Thanks. Yes, the Let's evil go. hockey players. <laughs> Although, she looks quite adorable now. Alright, because I think I remember the pattern. This guy comes along and it's like, oh god, they're in the camera. The camera, not the camera! How dare you? How fucking dare you? No! This, I paid 500 gems for season tickets for this girl's ice dancing and you guys think you have the audacity to come in and be like, oh, we want to play hockey sticks and bash each other's teeth in. No, you guys can go and shove your sticks in a very, very cold place. Because I will not have you, you dang Rhinoc hockey players ruining this. I see you. I did it! That wasn't so bad. Okay, I don't know where the crowd is, but... my best performance ever! I guess one of the judges didn't like it, though. He threw this egg at me instead of a rose. Why don't you have it? 
Cerny. Oh, look at the baby. Maybe you can be my ice dancing partner in the next Olympics. I like that the Olympics exist in, in the dragon world. In this fantasy world, they still have the Olympics. I assume Nasty Nork and his Norkish. I have to hurry in people. myself. I'm one of the judges for tonight's performance. Yeah, already watched it. It was great. I bet you were the one that threw the egg. <laughs> I did not realize you could do this. Look at this little feet go. <laughs> Worth it. He just shot his own buddy. In the military, you can get discharged for that, I think. I see birdies. The ice dancing wasn't that bad. It's actually quite hard. It's, it's not that hard, actually. It's quite easy to remember once you get the hang of like the pattern. And I feel like it was a bit easier to slide around in the ice this time. Like how... Uh, Inspire 2, I had that, um, like, no, I didn't want to get in the bloody thing. It was like how in, um, you had that, the ice hockey thing in Spyro 2. That brings me back in here. Such a good hover hitbox now. You get so much height though and elevation with the hover, I love it. Reeves! Oh, so cute! The tiny little bow! Every dragon is cute. You cannot say that these dragons aren't cute. They're all cute now after seeing so many of them. They were adorable in the original game. But they're just so cute now. It's like, oh, they got little chubby cheeks. I want to take them all home. Of course, if I had a hundred odd baby dragons in my, hundred and fifty actually baby dragons in my house, it would be very bad. You have to have major insurance. Down here is the thief place. We're gonna do that last because. It's already 18 minutes and I need to do it anyway because I need to complete the level. And we've had some shorter episodes so this one being a little bit longer shouldn't be the end of the world. Enchanted Towers is going to be a hell of a long one as well though. <laughs> I put up ice blocks this morning so Bob wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to try out the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. They've got much better voices now. Like they sound Canadian. They got better designs. They actually look like bears this time. Ooh, by the way, feel free to use our gondola whenever you want. Where is the ice fishing hole? Because if there's a gondola that takes you down there, was the ice fishing hole down there, or was it over? Here? Or was this the ice fishing hole? One of these places is an ice fishing hole. <laughs> I put up ice blocks to stop dog. Or Bob to get from the ice fishing hole because I'm a hoser like that. Yep, this place is looking great. These guys, I hate them. I hate them so much. <clears throat> My cough, cold, illness makes me sound very odd. No, how is it that I am? <gasps> I was like, I, I got ahead of him. I think these, like, I think these things have just been like upgraded. It's the only way to explain how I'm going faster than the thieves who are supposed to be quite fast, and the idea is you're supposed to, like, catch up with them. Of course, Spyro is having some trouble trying to. Yep. Having a bit of trouble, I aspire. Yes, you are, because these places are the worst.
You see? I'm like... Zooming ahead of him. I don't even know where he went. I'm going to have to like do a complete... Actually, while I'm here. I can do this. What the, I couldn't fucking see then. <coughs> All right, where'd he go? There he is. He runs backwards, that's why. Or he runs into me. Betty! Atomic Betty! I see you, buddy. Ooh, get that hopper then. Get that elevation. Oh god. I don't even know. There he is. Come on, buddy. Oh. No! Go this way. Okay, me. I'm having a bit more trouble with the. Here's the thing: you're going really fast, but you've also got to get these really tight corners, which are no joke. You went the other way, didn't you? Yes, you did. Please, can I cut him off at the pass? I almost had him! Yeah, because he's going this way. He takes a long fucking route. You see that I end up going ab over them. It's kind of like unnerving, especially if I end up going faster than them. Because then I gotta find them. Gotcha. Scout! That's so precious. I wanted to cry then. Well, actually, I didn't, but you know what I mean. They're just so cute. And anything they do is cute, you know? It's like, who gives you the right to be this cute? And it's like, the game devs do. Ooh. And this should take us up to the last gems. Look at him go. Whee! Yep. A two and then three tens. Or a ten and two fives. Either way. Darn it. Where the hell is it? There it is. Ah. There we go. Quick relax. Yay. Up we go. We did it in under 25 minutes, which is pretty good. Wrong one. There we go, off we go. <clears throat> We're still 2,400. So all the money I gave money bags was basically worthless. That's not fun. It's not fun at all. Uh, I've also been playing some North Korea in my free time. I got scared to death by a goddamn reaper looking for some cyclops engine parts. Still haven't found the last part and I'm scared to go back. That's not what you want at all. That's not what you want at all. <gasps> cutscene? Cutscene? No! Oh, it is a cutscene. Yay! <laughs> I like how Spyro has to jump to climb up. 
I fall, he fall, fall. Oh, well, oh, shoot. Fiddly foe, bro. Show the magic ones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she does. Oh yeah, the web bunny. We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. I think just ate her up. That's it. He even fucking speared that, I just noticed. <laughs> it's a screenshot for the episode. <laughs> uh, thanks. No problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. <laughs> Would you like me to show you? Uh... Out of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? <laughs> I'll deal with you later. <laughs> hey, why'd you have to scare her off? I was gonna totally hit that. And you know he was gonna try and hit that, because this is goddamn Hunter. In the next episode, once we get past all these murderous bunny rabbits, we are going into Enchanted Towers. Oh, I like Enchanted Towers, it's a good one. So thank you guys so much for watching me play Spyro Year of the Dragon Reignited. Leave a little like if you liked it and leave a comment in the comment box below. Subscribe if you are new and click that bell so you always get a video as soon as it goes out. I have a Twitter at Ripley Gamer. Follow me on there for live games and wrestling updates. I'm actually going to do a vlog on Elimination Chamber. It saves me having to do it in a video like this one. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I have an Instagram under the same name as well. I have a book on Amazon. You can read that. It's called The Strange Secrets of Dunbrook Academy. You can read it in the afternoon. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.